Hey everyone, it's Viv again. So it has been confirmed that all of the old wedding dresses will be returning from October 9th to the 15th. Rejoice! So today I'm gonna go over what's worth it in terms of top scoring items. As always, you can check the top scoring items on Nikki's info, which is in that link above. But here is a consolidated version. Keep in mind, the top scoring list is always changing. So something that may be top scoring today may not be top scoring next week. And also items that aren't top scoring may become top scoring later on as new stages are added. So without further ado, let's look at all of the wedding dresses. You can find them on gallery and under happiness. And here are all of my wedding dresses. I have all of them. Um, by the end of the event, I will have the newer ones too. So let's go all the way to the beginning. First one will be the one that I do not have yet. The one that I've yet to finish, but I will eventually. Pure White Love Song. We have a couple of top scoring items here. Number one would be Word of Heart the Socks, which is top scoring in two chapters. And then White Promise, beautiful umbrella, top scoring in eight chapters. And then we have Memory of You, the Veil, and this is top scoring in 40 chapters and one commission request. And then let's go to the other pose right here. Once you completed the entire thing, sweet chapter right here. The two heart stand things is a ground item and this is top scoring in two chapters. So a total of four top scoring items here. Very good, very good flower set we got here. Number two, we have this Moonlight Sonantina. Oh my gosh, as pretty as this one is, unfortunately, there are no top scoring items. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't get it. A lot of people are getting it just for the way it looks, which is exactly what I'm doing. This one is beautiful. I love her so, so much. And then up next, we have Oaf of a flower rain. This one is famous for the umbrella and also the special hand pose. So we have a couple of top scoring items here too. Let's go to the original pose. This one would be love for fluffy. This one is really good. This is a hairpin, top scoring in 20 chapters and two commission requests. And then when you go over to the other pose, you have Glittering Veil. These are the gloves and this is top scoring in two chapters and one commission request. This is really pretty. I love using this in the Starry Corridor. And up next, we have Dream Wedding. Famous for the back pose and also for the glittery staircase. So we have one top scoring item here and of course it's gonna be the windy staircase. <laughs> this is a ground item top scoring in 14 chapters and one commission request. Up next we have a poetic future. This is a pink flowery wedding dress a famous for this um, giant uh, flower arch we got going here. And we have one top scoring item and it's going to be Tukana. It's a veil, top scoring in 12 chapters and two commission requests. Up next, we have Farewell to Bourdois. Two top scoring items here. Number one would be Flickering Candle. This is a animated foreground item, top scoring in six chapters and two commission requests. Quest. And then there is Happiness Overflow, the seat and this table here. This is a ground item, top scoring in 8 chapters. And then we have, okay, the, the lamp's blocking here. Ugh. We have Destined Fate, and we have one top scoring item, and it's going to be the Destined Fate dress. This is top scoring in 2 chapters and one commission request. Now this dress in particular is top scoring in chapter 3 stage S2 which is that stage that requires a wedding dress to pass. 
Now this dress is top scoring for that particular stage, but any of the dresses in this event would help you pass it with flying colors. So if you have not been that stage yet, get a wedding dress, get any wedding dresses here. It's definitely going to help. All right, that's the gorgeous test of fate. Up next we have for the vows of love. Oh, she looks so sad here. Uh, the top scoring item here is going to be Oath of Red Leaves, which are the airing's top scoring in eight chapters and one stylus arena. Additionally, once you completed the suit, you will claim Nuptial Vow, which is the um, it's a standalone piece of this veil on her head, and it's going to be top scoring in 33 chapters, three commission requests, and one stylus arena. Wow, that's very good. It's um, it's just a red veil, and it's really good because of the Chinese classical tag. So, if you're looking for top scoring, I highly recommend finishing the set to get the bonus piece. Up uh, next, we have Happy Embroidery. We have a top scoring item here, and it's going to be My Only Love. Aww. The earrings and its top scoring in four chapters. Uh, next we have Childlike Love. We have a child bride going on right here. <laughs> and two top scoring items. Number one would be the hair, top scoring in 10 chapters. And then we have her teddy bear, Guardian Bear, which is a right hand item and it's top scoring in 6 chapters. Wisteria Val, no top scoring items here, but this entire dress is practically a free suit. So if you're looking to just complete anything without spending any diamonds, this is the dress for you. It's really pretty too. I love the purple. And then, um, <laughs> next one I have realized dream. This is not part of the event, but let's let's do this too. Let's do realize dream as well. Uh, we have a lot of top scoring items for realize dream. Number one would be a floral ride. The shoes top scoring in two chapters and one commission request. Number two would be dream veil, which is obviously a veil. Top scoring in six chapters and one commission request. Then we have floral. Hairpin, which is a hair ornament, top scoring in two chapters, one commission request. Then we have floral earrings, earrings obviously, top scoring in two chapters and one commission request. Diamond necklace, also top scoring in two chapters and one commission request. And then timely bloom, the right handheld item, top scoring in two chapters and one commission request. So which one is most worth it? Real life stream, this one right here, with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six top scoring items, and it's not even part of the event. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. So, which one should you get? Just honestly, I would recommend getting this one to get the top scoring veil, but just get whatever one you like. Whichever one you think is pretty, get that. Or you don't have to get any of them. Just um, use up your free attempt and maybe save up for a future wedding dress. You never know what will be coming next. Alright, that is all I have. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like what you see here, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you.